We all know the fairy tales about castles. Every little girl has dreamt about the long, winding staircases. The turrets full of mysterious secrets and the king and the queen of the land. But what happens when you're an adult and you can make those dreams come true? We've sent out the horse-drawn carriages to New Canaan, Connecticut and South Lake, Texas to bring you the old world charm of the French countryside and the rustic charm of Scotland, but with a contemporary touch. Mount up, don't forget your chalice. I welcome thee to Mansion Global. quick trip by car or even quicker by train, you find New Canaan, Connecticut. It's a town just as unique as the architecture you're about to see. Also known as the next station to heaven, New Canaan is about an hour's ride from Midtown Manhattan and the last stop on the train, hence the nickname. Home to Philip Johnson's Glass House, world-class restaurants, and those picturesque New England landscapes. There is so much to this small town of 20,000 that you'll never miss the big city lights. It has a rich colonial history dating back to 1731. After the Revolutionary War, its major industry was shoemaking. In fact, if you're a local, you know where to find the old shoemaking caves. But we're gonna keep that a secret and instead show you a chateau that'll make you feel like you're back in those days, but with the comfort of the modern age. My dear friend Skylar Morris of Brown Harris Stevens in downtown New Canaan is the agent repping this stunning oasis. You have this beautiful property, but I wanna talk about where it sits. Yeah. New Canaan, Connecticut, for people who don't know or haven't visited, what makes it so special? Oh, New Canaan is the best. It's 45 miles from New York City, so we're you're really close. And we have a beautiful, walkable downtown, which people love. And you're not in New York, so your taxes are low. Ooh, love that. Yeah. Now, this home in particular, you might say, well, it's a chateau. But wait, there's more. You <laughs> yeah. open the front door, and you have all of these different styles. So, yes. so tell me what goes into this and why it meshes so well. It's this beautiful brick chateau, but it really was built in 2004 when you walk inside and you see all of the modern amenities, you're just wowed. It's sun-drenched rooms on the inside. There's skylights, there's high ceilings. Now, what are you getting for $15 million? Oh gosh, you're getting a lot. <laughs> well, you're on over six acres here and you're actually abutting natural land preserve. So it feels as though you're on 100 acres. It's very private and it's a true compound. There's this beautiful chateau. There's also a gorgeous carriage house, which is almost 4,000 square feet. I think you'll notice as you walk around too, the landscape design on this house is literally spectacular. They've done such a beautiful job of making these plantings look so mature. It really looks like a beautiful old estate. So what makes this home so unique? French country on the outside, yes, but not so on the inside. This French countryside inspired chateau features seven bedrooms, nine and a half baths, nearly 20,000 square feet, 10 wood-burning fireplaces, and six very private acres. 15 million and it can all be yours. There's so many things that your eye goes to. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. You have this marble wood combination, these huge blocks, 24 by 24, which is very prevalent in Italy. And we have not seen it on one of our houses on this show at all. It is absolutely stunning, really a conversation piece, but can you look around? This millwork is definitely eating its spinach, that is for sure. It's everywhere, it's gorgeous, and it's bright white. You don't see that a lot. A lot of maintenance involved with that, you can't have Basketballs getting thrown around in the foyer, no balls in the house. But this is definitely a statement. 
chandelier as soon as you walk in, but it's not heavy. It's not this huge crystal chandelier. You feel like you can live in this house. It's breathable, it's alive. Straight ahead, three gorgeous French doors all leading out to your private pond and a bonus sitting area for even more entertaining space and welcoming your guests. Starting with the underground garage, you'll also have your home theater and wine cellar. Moving up to the main level, we find your kitchen, office, and various entertaining spaces. The third level is all about the bedrooms and ensuite bathrooms. This kitchen as a whole could not better convey the vibe of the entire house. You're marrying all of your favorite design types all into one. This company called Valcucina, you might be familiar with them, they designed all of this and everything hides behind all these doors. Door number one, you slide down for your faucet, easy peasy. Door number two, spice rack, and three, is actually your hood vent. And behind the slider, come on, seriously, your Gagano cooktop. Melee appliances all throughout French doors, bringing that morning air and morning breeze in. And then you head over here to your, I don't even want to say breakfast nook because this is a full on dining space right here. You're taking in the pond in the morning. This is the way you want to start your day. This right here, level one of a two-story library. We will get there, but this is the wing of the home where you are coming to relax and recharge and really escape. In here, the media room, lounge, game room, just behind this, where the party's gonna start, but don't tell anyone. A speakeasy, if you will. A wet bar that is so cool, unmatched. Beyond that, a little lounge area. And then you have the office at the far end of the house. That's gonna be quiet, it's going to be serene. Wait until you see where those stairs lead after the break.